Everybody hear me? Back in particular. Everyone, yeah, okay, good. Uh, we are the Gas Turbine Builders Association. Uh, we are uh, a group of enthusiastic amateur model engineers who just love things that spin very fast and burn very hot. Gas turbines. Uh, what we're going to do today is demonstrate uh, one example. The whole table here is filled with various gas turbines. Uh, we're going to show you the KJ66. Uh, the 66 basically very simply describes the size of the rotor. Uh, in this particular instance we've got a single stage centrifugal compressor of six, uh, 66 mil in diameter and a single stage axle flow turbine at the back, also 66 mil. And in the middle we've got a vaporizing combustor and we're using kerosene or paraffin as our primary fuel. Now that doesn't vaporize at ambient temperature. So what we have to do during the startup is actually introduce a little bit of propane butane gas uh, which heats the whole thing up, that's only on for a few seconds and it will switch on to the kerosene. So to start an engine like this, rather like uh, your car, assuming you've got a normal engine in it, turn the key, uh, starter motor drops in, turns the engine over, starts the four cycle process and off you go. With the jet engine, again, we have a little starter motor inside the pod here at the front. There's a Bendix drive, so as the starter motor uh, kicks in, Bendix goes forward, starts to rotate the, uh, the rotor. There's an RPM sensor here which detects the motion, and a little box of tricks down here which says, OK, I've got free move movement. Turn a gas valve on here, introduces the gas, a glow plug uh, ignites as well, and that actually uh, is enough to uh, light the gas, so there will be a small whir and a pop, hopefully, uh, and it will start up. The starter motor will then keep it turning over until the temperature on the therm thermocouple in the turbine here reaches over 100 degrees centigrade. That tells us we've got the temperature we want internally. And the fuel pump will then turn on and gradually start to introduce the fuel into the combustion chamber and you'll hear an increase in the note of the energy coming from the, uh, the exhaust as that goes in. Once we're through 400 degrees centigrade, the gas is switched off automatically so we're then completely on the kerosene and the starter motor all this time is still continuing to accelerate the rotor and what we have to do on a jet engine is reach what's called the self-sustain speed. That's the point at which there's enough energy in the hot, high-velocity gas passing through the turbine that it can drive the compressor with no external mechanical input, i.e. without the starter motor connected. On this engine, that happens at about 22,000 RPM. 